How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin, and in today's video, I'll be talking about two more props Spirit has released on their website. Now, I'm going to be extremely late to one of these since I didn't really want to make a one-off video for it. I wanted to really wait until a few more got released, but I feel like with the release of Baphomet, I just kind of should just get it over with and get these two out of the way, being Pennywise, Sewer Great, and of course, as I mentioned, Baphomet. Now, I just want, of course, want to just share my opinions on these in detail since I really haven't got to done that yet unless my ranking video kind of counts, but there's still some stuff I left out there for the sake of time. But in today's video, I'll be, go be able to go way in depth in my thoughts and opinions on these props. So I guess without any more hesitation, we'll start off with Pennywise Surrogate since he was released first a while ago, and then we'll take a look at Baphomet. But without any more hesitation, let's jump right into it. Did you miss me? Because I missed you. Time to fold! Alright, so this year is Pennywise Sewer Great, and overall, I'm not the biggest fan of him. If you did watch my ranking video, you guys will know that I just genuinely think he is such an unnecessary prop, since we already have a popping up Pennywise that basically does the same exact thing from Party City two years ago, made by Techie Toys. This one's made by Crazy Crate, so it's probably going to be very faulty. But the Techie Toys one, while I don't think it is as good as this one, it just kind of makes me sad how unnecessary this one really is. First of all, the Pennywise inside, in my opinion, doesn't even look that good. There's plenty of detail there, but it really doesn't look like the actual Pennywise character, unfortunately. And I, I don't understand why this had to be Pennywise. I think this could have been an awesome prop if there was a zombie or some sort of sewer monster inside but just seeing when i saw the leaked photos of this little thing i recognized that oh hey that sewer grate could be a prop but once we actually saw what it did in it that it was a licensed pennywise character i was immediately drawn away from this thing like oh that's really lame now, I would have preferred to see, again, something different, a unique creature instead of Pennywise, and overall, I don't think it is that good. I think the jump scare is pretty effective, though, which is a good thing, and I don't really know how effective it'll be to some people, though, but I think it's an alright jump scare. For the sewer grate itself, I think it's fine. It does not make any sense why it's like half, though. Most sewer grates are full circle, so it would have been cool to see a full circle, but I don't really know how that would have worked. It probably would have been a lot bigger. But I don't know. I think a full circle one would make a lot more sense. And I think the detailing in the front is nice, but obviously in the back, it literally just looks like a nothing. There's nothing there. There's no details in the back at all. I mean, I guess no one's really going to be seeing the back, but if you wanted to have this set up in like the middle area of somewhere, it's just going to look really stupid. But overall, I think it is just a very meh prop. Not one I like that much, to be honest. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this one for sure. Just not my type of prop, in my opinion. Definitely would have been cool to see a, an original monster. It's just a shame it had to be Pennywise. Ah, look at the precious little human coming my way. Such a tender morsel, an appetizer just to get me started. Add a little salt, and that soul of yours might even be tasty. <laughs> Don't run away too quickly. I haven't sharpened my side yet. <laughs> Alright, so right there was Baphomet, and I'm bringing up some points that I did bring up in my ranking video again, but just real quick, I think Baphomet is a pretty good prop. I believe I placed him at number 11 or 10 in my ranking video, somewhere around there, but be sure to check that video out nonetheless since I put a lot of time and effort into that one for sure. But Baphomet is one that is pretty alright in my opinion. Now I do have some big problems with him, for one, which is my biggest issue, the ram skull or the goat skull for, the, for his head obviously looks very plasticky. I don't know why they went with a metallic color, I think if they used a realistic bone color here it could have looked really really realistic and awesome. So it's just unfortunate that they had to use this metallic paint which makes it look very plasticky in my opinion and definitely ruins a lot of the look of the prop they were going for here. But I don't know, I'll let you be the judge of how you like that metallic paint, but in my opinion it does not look very good. 
And I think for the rest of him, he's actually really cool. He does have this medieval touch to him, which is really nice, especially with the gloves and the chain belt he has on. And his scythe is absolutely gigantic, which is awesome. His animation is alright too, he has head movement, side to side movement, and he lifts the scythe up and down as well, which I think is another very cool detail about him. He is made by Seasonal Visions, but I have to say he does look like a Pan-Asian Creations prop, and there was actually an unreleased version, if I can find a photo I'll put it up, but there was an unreleased version of this character a very long time ago made by Pan-Asian Creations, and it seems like it used an actual goat head or a goat skull for it, which is pretty interesting. But obviously, they wouldn't have used that in the release model. That was just for the sake of the prototype. But they actually were planning on Pan-Asian Creations making this character a while ago. But then I guess they just had SVI make it because I guess they could have pulled it off better. Obviously, if there was a Pan-Asian Creations version, I doubt it would have as much animation as this one. And also, he is seven feet tall, which I think is obviously in the best height you can have on a prop. They're very tall then. And I think his height is fine, but I don't think a $300 price tag is at warranted at all here. I think they could have got away with him being sold for $250. Sure, he does have a lot of animation, but I just don't think $300 is worth it at all for him. Mr. Howell is about the same height, and he's, I guess, he obviously he's the same price, but I would take Mr. Howell over this guy any day. And I don't know, I just don't think $300 is worth it for him. There could have been a lot more here if they wanted to price him that high, but in my opinion, I think there are a lot better props you could get for $300 than this guy. But overall, I do like Baphomet quite a bit, and he's definitely one of the ones I'll probably remember after the season is over as being one of the cool ones. And it does look like, as of now, well, depending on when you're watching this video, shipments are starting to go out of him to stores. Obviously, with all the shipping delays this year, it's been hell with stores getting new props in. But it is really cool to see that he is starting to arrive in some stores. And the last thing about him I want to touch on here real quick is his audio. I think his voice acting is alright. I think it just sounds a little bit too generic. I think maybe a distorted or kind of like warped voice would have been really cool here. But I just think it's a little bit generic, the menacing kind of deep voice it has. And I just think we've seen that it's a very similar type of voice way too many times on other props. So, I don't know. His voice is just meh in my opinion. But the background audio he has going on is really awesome. The different sound effects and just the drums in the background, they sound very medieval. And I really love that a lot there. That's probably one of the coolest parts about this prop is that very unique background audio, which I absolutely love. So that is a major plus. But that's pretty much all I have to say about Baphomet. Again, I do think he's a very good Spear Halloween prop this year. And it's, I'm sure I'm going to remember him after the season is over. But that's pretty much it. So we'll wrap it up. Well, everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. Sorry if this video is kind of quick and, of course, not very up-to-date, but I really just wanted to get my full opinions out on these guys so you guys can hear them and tell me what you guys think of these two props, of course, in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe, as always. Also, check out the merch and my Instagram in the description below. And with all that, as always, this is the Big Slay Pumpkin, signing out. <laughs>